Today starts a two month series where I'll be showing you how I went from someone who had no idea how a camera works and had no connections in videography to where I'm at now and the problems I'm trying to overcome. I'm not gonna lie, I'm figuring this out as I go. So it's currently Wednesday night. I'm from New Jersey and my company's working for a media outlet. We have five games a week coverage. It'll be me filming some of the games, but mainly other guys. And it's gonna be me delegating out the tasks as well as balancing other jobs that I have that go outside of sports. It's gonna be a lot of work on top of editing these videos. So I'm really hoping that I'm able to edit these so that they don't look like total garbage. I have one game to film on Friday and then I have another game to film on Saturday. So I'll be taking you guys to both of those. I'm gonna show you my best guy over here my best bud charlie say what's up so yeah tune in probably as this series goes along i'll talk more about how i got to where i'm at right now and kind of my goals and where i want to see myself go in the future again games are tomorrow um it's gonna be the first week covering these games so you'll see i'm currently outside because i need to drive all the way back home I'm currently moving between two spots right now i gotta drive an hour home as you'll see here I got this dang setup with my tower, my computer right here. I got two of them. And yeah, I gotta basically transfer all this back home. I got all my wires back here and my camera bag right here, along with all this other mess. Yeah, I'm even gonna strap it in with the seat belt to make sure it doesn't go flying and smash against the window. Funny enough, it's currently 7 p.m. So I pretty much beat all the traffic. And then I gotta meet with a couple other guys that are shooting games for me. I need to give them a couple cameras. And then once they have the cameras, I'll probably like go through with them what they need to do at the games. So I'll see you at home. Okay, so I'm currently back home, home home, basically where the games are happening at. It's closer to my parents' house, so I came home in order to film one of the games. And I also changed out my camera. I gave one of my other cameras, the camera I was using for the previous videos, to one of the other videographers so they could use it. So I don't, I'm hoping that this footage looks okay. I gotta change the settings on this camera for tomorrow. I am working on putting together my tower, as you see it's... A massive tower under here and I still need to pull the wires in which is a pain every time. What I did a little bit earlier was I met with some of the other videographers. We went through the process for tomorrow, what I expected them, any issues that they might run into, how to go about it. And yeah, just communicated that. It's always good to just over communicate because when the games are happening, that's not when you want to be learning stuff. You want everyone to be at their best. There's always things you can't really plan for. Now, again, I'm going to work on putting my computer together. I got to do some other things for something outside of videography and then yeah, just get ready for tomorrow. Put myself in a good spot for the day tomorrow also side note i just kind of want to go through what my setup looks like right now again i'm moving between two spots this is my parents home right now and then i'm moving back and forth between this house and then my apartment this is my work kind of setup right here this is what i'm doing during the day and then next to that you'll have my editing computer normally i'll have a second monitor right here next to it or a tv that you can just hook up but because I'm moving back and forth so often and it's really not needed right now, I mean, you only need one monitor to do your thing. So for example, if I have a car video and I wanna get research on the dealership, I'll have my editing timeline on one screen and then on the other screen, I'll have the website up or whatever I need to research, just be more efficient. So here we have my editing computer. Underneath you have the tower. So then over here on my left, you have my work computer, you'll see I have the two monitors and then a smaller tower for the work computer. Also, you know, I just have like this very basic table. Like you don't need anything crazy. Like this is just, I just wanted something big. I'd rather have something big where I can put a lot of stuff than I have something small that looks nice. So yeah, I had just like this plain white table, literally plastic. And then here I have a nicer wooden table that I've had since I was younger. I have it connected through an uh, HDMI obviously. So that's how I'm doing dual screen. So for example, for those of you who may be newer, you can like kind of grab stuff and bring it over. And then on the right, here's my editing one. It's a 4K monitor. I would recommend investing in because if you're dealing with 4K footage, which is what you want to get to at some point, you kind of want to see like what the quality is actually looking like. And if you only have a 1080p monitor, you're not going to see the true quality of it. And yeah. So I'm currently on the way to the volleyball game. I left a little bit later than I would have liked just because I got distracted and of course the second one I decided to leave there was traffic on the road even though it's not really a busy time of the day I'll still be there on time I would have liked to get there a little earlier just to get some warm-up shots of the players a little bit more and then maybe a drone shot of the school and then I have a timer set on my phone for when I need to leave the volleyball game to make the football game in time I probably will try to update you when I'm at the volleyball game if not I will definitely be updating you on the way to the football game All right, so now the volleyball game is over. 
was actually really nervous that I was going to be late to the uh, football game. Volleyball game only went two sets, so it was pretty short. I have about a 35, maybe 40 minute drive to the football game. The football game will obviously be longer, but I can get there early, take some pregame shots, which is always good. And there's nothing wrong with that. You can always get more content, but if you don't get a lot of content, you're kind of stuck with what you have. <laughs> All right, so I'm currently at the game. Uh, I didn't get a chance to really say much before the game. It's halftime right now. It's a good game. It's 21-7, but it's, it's pretty close. So the toughest thing right now I'm dealing with is as the game's happening, I'm also having to throw up updates online on the social media of the games and tagging the network. So it's just complicated kind of trying to communicate with everybody. I was probably as prepared as I could have been. I got them up quick, but doing this over the course of the whole season is going to be going to be tough. So definitely going to have to think about how I can speed things up going on for next week, but all's going well so far. We got some good highlights. So far, we only had one person miss a highlight at one of the games. I'll, I'll figure out a way to, to supplement that. Because I'm filming everything, it's kind of tough to get shots of myself from afar. Filming on my phone too, so again, I'm just trying this type of vlog style. Trying it out, just trying to learn from it as time goes on. As the season goes on, I'll show you more and more. I am very hungry. I have not eaten since lunch, and I know if I leave the field right now, I'm gonna sit in the crazy line for the uh, snack stand. I'll show you what I'm rocking with right now. Okay, so this is my second time filming this because when I first filmed it, I filmed it in portrait, which is what we don't want. Let's start with the bottom part right here. You got the monopod. It's just like screws into the bottom. It's very basic. You get it for super cheap on Amazon. You don't need anything crazy. Like I have a really expensive camera on something super cheap. You don't need something crazy on this. The monopod is good because it's just like a tripod. You're able to move around quicker because it's just one leg. So I'm able to kind of just like pick this up right here and go, which I like a lot better than the tripod. And I don't need a tripod because I'm holding the camera. So basically it's like a second leg. So it helps me stabilize footage. Just helps me move around smoother. That comes out, it comes taller. Normally I have the monopod up to my chest area. I don't like to go super low to the ground because when it's super low to the ground you kind of get a lot of the grass and some people like that a lot It's time and a place for everything just not overdoing it. All right, so that's the monopod then the camera it's Canon R5C So that's the camera. I have three R5s. This is the R5C and then I have two R5s This is a cinema camera and then the R5s are super solid as well This just is a little bit more video powerful on top. I got this monitor right here super cheap mon Well, not super cheap Nothing cheap with cameras, but this basically just lets me see the footage better, especially when I'm running down the sidelines. It just makes things easier to track. So you have the normal screen that comes with the camera, and then you have the screen that I bought. This wire right here, I've legit broken this wire 20 times. This is so that the camera connects to the screen. So now what I do is I always unplug it. That way when I'm moving around, and it gets caught on something, it just flicks off. Rather than if it's stuck on it, it'll snap or break. In front, I love this lens. It's the Canon EF 70 to 200 millimeter. Super solid lens, super clear. F 2.8, so you know you can get good light at nighttime. And then you might have wondering why I'm using an EF lens on an RF camera. So normally you, these wouldn't work, it wouldn't be compatible, but I have a little adapter in the front. And I did that intentionally when I bought it because one, when I was researching it, the EF lens, people were saying on Reddit and other forums that it actually comes out better quality than the RF lens. Lens. And then the other reason why I think it was like a little cheaper. Yeah, when you're making a big purchase like that, like this lens is probably like two grand. Don't just buy it, like research. And I don't just research and on like Canon's website. I also go on YouTube, I watch reviews. I'm really getting a clear sense of like what I'm getting from real people who actually buy these things and get a real review. There's a lot more I could talk about this setup, but I'm gonna leave it at the basics for this one because the game is about to start back up. So here's the field. And then you can kind of see over to the left, the snack stand, it's packed. So yeah, it's a good game, it's 21-7. I'm gonna go over there, get some a few more pictures and then switch to video mode and get ready for the second half. Danny Lancers 33 and the Holmdell Hornets 19. Scott, out of here. We would like to thank you very much for attending today's yep. games. All right, so I'm walking out right now. One of the hacks that I've learned is sometimes the uh, snack stand will be getting rid of food. So I'm just gonna go over there and ask them if they're getting rid of anything. We go get a free sandwich, let's see. I am leaving the football game right now. Yeah, I am super hungry. I, again, I haven't eaten since lunch, so I haven't eaten since like 1, 1 30 at best. People don't realize, you know, how much time you spend at these games, you know. Not only are you at the game, but you're driving to the game, you're planning for the game. All the editing time, like I spend more time editing than I do at these when I'm ever I'm filming. I am a quick quick check god. So I'm gonna see if there's a quick check on the way home. Once I get home, it is, what? It's 9.48 right now. I'm probably gonna spend a good amount of time editing, just getting ahead of everything. I don't feel too tired and I have stuff to do tomorrow. And then Saturday night, I'm gonna be uh, away from my computer. So definitely want to get ahead of that. So I guess I'll see you guys either at Quick Check, hopefully, or I'll see you 
at home editing. Welcome to our express ordering system. All right, so you scan it, I hit my mouse, you go button, it says subcontract, and it bounces up, and goes, yeah, you're free. Oh, nice. Hello, my Thank guy. you, have a good one. Last time I was here, I got a free smoothie and a free meal. That never happens at any other places. You might get discounts, but nothing free. So quick check, you have my heart. It's currently almost 1 a.m. right now. I just finished a lot of editing, a lot of uploading. I had to take the four games that were tonight. So I was recording one game and then there was three other videographers recording different games. Two of the other guys actually had my cameras. So I had to kind of walk them through how to upload everything. From there, I'm taking those files and then sharing them with the network. I also got my video done. All the templates that I made during the week are now set up so I can kind of like recycle these every week. I just have to upload basic logos and everything. It all takes time. I left the house around like 3 p.m. today and it's almost, well, it is 1 a.m. now basically. It's just literally a second full-time job. But I enjoy this, so it makes it worth it. If you don't enjoy this and you're spending all these hours doing it, if you're not passionate about it, like you're just you're gonna stop once you reach those obstacles. Tomorrow, I'm filming the Division Three college game, and then there's one more game my uh, company is filming. And I just need to send updates out on the social media. If I do this for the rest of the season, I don't see how I wouldn't have success. Appreciate you checking on the journey, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I've been editing for about an hour and a half now. I got up around nine. Right now you'll see I'm working in Premiere. I got some breakfast to my right. Always gotta try to have like wipe my napkin as I'm eating cause you don't wanna get your keyboard all gross. Yeah, so I'm basically going through editing the game recaps. I have this cool little scoreboard made right here for the games while they're happening. So that's kind of like the most time consuming thing that I'm doing right now. So as I'm getting each game, I kind of have to follow the quarter as well as the score as it's going. I had a couple calls with the network that I'm working for, making sure that we're on track, everything's understood since it's the first week that we're doing this. And then the other thing would be, I had a couple calls with the videographers. One videographer needed to figure out how to use the reader. This is a CF Express card reader. It's different than a SD um, card reader. SD card is what you typically see on a camera. All Sony cameras pretty much use SD cards, but Canon, the higher end cam Canon cameras use CF Express, at least on my end. Again, I, I only have my one camera right now. So my one camera, I have the memory card in the computer. So I'm kind of recording a lot off my, my iPhone. I definitely want to like have video to, talk, to show you guys. My plan today is to get these two done. Then the two other videographers who are using my cameras, I'm kind of coaching them up as they go. Um, I trust these guys. They're not like huge photographers, but I trust them. And that's like the biggest thing for me, like trusting someone and like they're going to do a good job. I've worked with them before. They're dependable biggest thing being loyal and being dependable because you can't have someone canceling on you last second especially when you're trying to build something working on the game highlight recaps right now and then i need to leave by 1 p.m latest to get to the college game i have all my stuff charged which is good and if i have some time i'll probably make some clips from the game i'm back on the camera it is 12 28 so i need to leave soon i need something to get some clothes and everything ready because i'll be staying in philadelphia tonight real quick i just wanted to talk about something one of the big things that i think all creatives deal with or the struggle with sometimes when to post and what to post you want to post the best stuff that you could reach a lull where you don't want to post anything because you're like oh this isn't good enough this isn't good enough this isn't good enough and then there's other times where you're like overthinking it or you get to a point where you're forcing content so it's definitely hard to find a balance between that there have been times where i've gone months without posting anything and i was working on a ton of stuff which is i didn't post it because i kept thinking oh this isn't good enough this isn't good enough and then you don't post anything it's definitely hard to find that balance of just not overthinking it which is something that i think everybody will come to at some point but um there's my alarm for uh, getting ready. I always got alarms. It's easy to get lost in your editing. I am feeling a little bit burnt at the second, so I'm gonna spend the next half hour in the car ride just chilling out. Try not to think about this. Definitely let it consume me in the past, and it's not good to let it consume you like that. You lose your creative direction. I was thinking about posting a video to my Instagram, my personal Instagram account, but I'm also trying to get my personal Instagram account. It's more of me rather than just videos of other people. I have pretty much two videos done. I asked one of the videographers from the game he recorded to send me a few more plays. He missed a couple things, but he did a good job. There's three other games I have to put together tomorrow. Record some video maybe uh, when I get to the game because I have to pick up a press credential. To get the press credential, I just emailed the school, told them who I was with. Don't let not having a press credential hold you back. I've just walked into places, it's like just pull out your camera, hold it next to you. And like 90% of the time, nobody will ask you good questions. Like dress professionally, like, dress with a polo or something. Like I have my company name on it, 
but like, you don't even need this. Like you could just just dress professional and have the camera in your hand. People won't question you. And if they do, just tell them I'm filming for this. Just be vague about it. Like you don't have to tell give them every little detail. You don't have to lie, but don't have to give them every little detail. So yeah, I'll see you guys probably at the college football game. As you can see, it's halftime behind me. I got here pretty early, so I got a lot of warm-up shots. For this one, I'm just making a player mix video. I normally wouldn't do this for one individual person, but I know the family of the uh, player that I'm making the video for, so it makes sense. I actually went to this school. This is a Division Three game. It's uh, the College of New Jersey versus Franklin and Marshall. I played football here as well for a couple of years. It feels really weird to uh, not be on the sideline, but to be on the sideline with the camera. Yeah, I saw people, a few people that I knew got a really good play from the player that I'm making the video for, so that's cool. So normally before the game, when I'm doing like an individual video, I'm just like following that player around. If I'm if I know there's a specific person or a specific amount of players that I'm need to get video for, I'll first start by just following them around, getting a bunch of shots in them and warm ups like jumping and running and looking down, looking up, anything like athletic. And then once I feel like I have a good amount of footage, I'll start getting uh, shots of like the scenery, so the B-roll. So for example, they're away right now. So what I did was I walked over to their sideline and I found one of their footballs on the side. The football had their logo, like the college logo. So I took a video of that. I zoomed in on it. I moved around it just so I had some footage showing the background of his school. Got a bunch of shots of his jersey number, a bunch of shots obviously of him from the front, which is what you want. You don't want all behind shots. I got a shot of him coming in for the game. He's a captain. It's definitely awkward at times being on top of the players and kind of being on the field. But as long as you're looking down and you're focused and you're doing your thing, no one's gonna say anything, no one cares. Your cameraman, they're expecting you to be up close. I had the same setup as yesterday, 70 to 200 millimeter with the monopod, the monitor, and then the, the camera. So again, because my other two cameras are with the other videographers, I don't have those with me, so I'm recording on the iPhone. One other thing that's probably good to mention over here, to see all these wires that I have. I actually attached my camera to my uh, external battery. So in order to avoid having to always switch out batteries, especially when I'm recording in super low frame rate and super high quality, I'll put my external battery in my backpack like I'm wearing now on the side. That way, it hangs off the side. I can just run the wire from my backpack to the camera. And that was not my idea. I got that idea from another videographer. Yeah, and then, you know, you get this little dinky looking official press credential. Just a piece of paper. They didn't even have, I don't know, for some reason they didn't have my name on the list, even though I put my name beforehand, but I just showed them the email that I had with the guy and it was no big deal. I probably could just walk in anyway on the visitor side. The score is 10 to three. It's a good game, good defensive game. Yeah, I think it, I think it should be a good finish. We'll see what happens in the second half. Currently on the way to Philadelphia. I'm just hanging out with some friends. So the game just ended, it is late, it is 5.52. I got there at what, two o'clock and I was on the road around before one. So like, that's an affair going there. Gonna go hang out with some friends, kind of decompress. And then tomorrow I need to finish wrapping up the uh, videos, the game recaps from the high school games. Yeah, I'm still working out a bunch of errors with some of the guys who have my cameras cause they're just kind of new to it. So kind of need to help them while I'm even doing my thing. So it definitely have a lot on my plate right now. And I kind of expected this to happen um, in terms of, you know, it's new and it's the first week. So by, I think week three, week four, things should be running smoothly by then. If they're not, then there's a problem. Yeah, time to decompress a little bit and then back at it tomorrow. It's Sunday morning. I am driving back from Philadelphia. Things I need to do today, one of the videographers, so one of the guys that I gave one of my cameras, his laptop wasn't powerful enough to handle the footage. So because he was dealing with 4K footage, his computer just wasn't able to handle it. It was freezing up on him, crashing on him. I even had him convert the files into lower quality just so he could kind of move around with them better, but it still didn't go well. So I gotta go pick that up, camera, and then I have to put the place together myself, which stinks, but it's the first week again, so it is what it is. So going forward, I'll have to work something out because I was counting him to be doing that on his own, but that's for later in this week that I have to pit, figure out. Luckily, he doesn't live far from my parents' house, and I'm driving back to my parents' house because all my editing stuff is right now. It's not a huge deal. Just quickly scoop that up from him. So I should be home before noon, and we'll have to see how it's received by everyone. I think the hardest part is just me getting the word out to the general area where the games are happening that, you know, videos even exist once they're there and people are regularly aware of what we're doing that's when you start to really see like is it catching on do i have to adjust fingers crossed we don't run into any issues so i'm currently in the car i've been editing all day it's currently 
6.45 p.m. Because it was the first week, I had to like coordinate with the other videographers and some of them missed a clip and I had to find a clip somewhere else. Then my computer started giving me problems somehow. Like, like that's just how things go always. Like it seemed like the first time around, literally could not have prepared better, I don't think. It happened, so the reason why I'm driving is because of course my internet the upload speeds were horrific. Like he was saying that each video was gonna take eight hours to upload. So now I have to drive and it's a Sunday night. I'm trying to find a place that has Wi-Fi where I can just pop in and uh, use that. Now I'm gonna pull over and I'm just gonna see if they have free Wi-Fi. If they do, I have my, comp my laptop here. What I did was I moved the videos from my computer onto a hard drive and then took the hard drive with me, took my laptop with me and I'm just gonna plug the hard drive into my laptop. That way I have the final video files and I can just upload it straight from here. What I also did was I called a nearby hotel. I said like, what's the Wi-Fi? I didn't say like, oh, do you have free Wi-Fi? Or like, can I use your Wi-Fi? I said, hey, uh, I'm much wondering which which Wi-Fi can I use? Um, or which Wi-Fi should I click on? And they were like, oh yeah, cause they just assumed I was a guest. So worst comes to worst, I'll just have to walk into there and then sit in the lobby and, and then hope they don't ask me, are you a guest here? Okay, so here's the setup right now. Right, my laptop into the wire. I got the hard drive right next to it. Of course, you know, I had the lap laptop sitting on my car and when I went to plug in, the freaking thing slid down and hit the ground. And I dented the side a little bit, but it's all right. Okay, so I'm back in the car, I'm trying to keep the faith right now. This has been a very frustrating experience. It should have been done hours ago. I mean, at first it looked like the internet was good, and then the second I looked back at it, that time for the upload just kept going up and up. And now what I'm gonna do, it's late on a Sunday, I'm gonna try to do that hotel. I'm pulling into the hotel right now. While I was driving here, it wasn't that far, but while I was driving here, there was a spider on my windshield. I literally don't even know where it went. So I'm hoping that it doesn't just pop on my clothes somewhere. But uh, I'm gonna record as I go in and sit down, and we'll see what happens. Just a dude with a laptop piece. Let's see, I'm just gonna... Walk right past the front counter. Hi, how's it going? How are you? Oh, uh, nothing really. I'm just going to sit in the lobby. Sorry? I'm just going to sit in the lobby. Okay, okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I was going to the bathroom. Okay. Thank you. She was like, oh, the lobby's this way. So I was like, oh no, I'm going to the bathroom. So that's what I saw ahead of me. So I ended up coming home. I was at the hotel letting the videos load and taking like an hour per video. I would have been there until like another two hours. It wasn't worth it. I'll just post the videos in the morning. So what I ended up doing was I came back. I worked on some other stuff that I was planning on working on tomorrow to get ahead. I couldn't control the internet being slow and it wasn't meant to be. So I'll post them tomorrow morning. I have them all done onto the second week. I'm um, very tired though right now. I'm very, very tired. A lot smoother. I have all the templates made. I kind of have more of my bearings around myself as to what to expect. The other videographers kind of know what's going on. That's the biggest thing, not making the same mistake twice. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first little vlog. Took a lot of videos on my iPhone, unfortunately. I'm gonna just try to do these once a week and find time to edit them too. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys tune into the future videos and I'll see you next week. Yeah.